I have a new toy. Um, just to explain, my birthday was last week. And last week I also, I'm 71 years old. Um, last week I also made some sausages, some chorizo sausages, sausage links. And the meat went through the grinder okay when I was grinding the meat, but then trying to force the ground meat through that meat grinder and the sausage stuffing tube and into the casings. It was a lot of work. It was way too much work, and I thought there's got to be a better way. So I bought myself a birthday present last week. I haven't assembled it yet. i got to assemble it. It's this here. It's a dedicated sausage stuffer. It'll clamp to my... It'll clamp to my um, my um, counter here, and it should make it a lot easier as far as pushing stuffing mix into the casings. This one, they sell them by different names. This one is a Master Feng, F-E-N-G. Sounds like a Chinese name. Well, it's made in China. I've seen them on YouTube and on um, Amazon under different names. And this one, I could barely find any reviews on it, but supposedly what I did see was that for the home sausage maker who doesn't make a lot of sausages, um, it's like the best recommended. If you make a lot, I mean, there are some expensive ones out there. I only spent um, $60 for this plus tax, $65 with the tax. You can spend hundreds. You can spend thousands of dollars on sausage stuffers. For me, where I just want to make them at home, sausages at home, this might be um, plenty adequate for me. So let me get this assembled and then I'm going to demonstrate it. And I'm actually going to get two videos out of this because I'm going to also do a cooking video. I'm going to make bratwurst. So I'm going to do a cooking video on making bratwurst. Speaking of which, I also ordered and received from Amazon this product. It's an LEM product. LEM Custom Blended Backwoods Fresh Sausage Seasonings. They make a lot of different mixes, like for a sweet Italian sausage, hot Italian sausage, chorizo, etc. This happens to be bratwurst. I've never tasted bratwurst before. I have books on making sausages, and there are recipes in there for making bratwurst, but I don't have all the spice ingredients, and I don't feel like driving around trying to find those spices um, or getting them online. Supposedly this stuff is pretty good. And by the way, I bought these with my own money. This is not a product placement. No one's paying me to use these. This is my own money. So let's make some bratwurst. I'm ready to season my ground meat. On the back of that package, they tell you how much seasoning mix to use per your portion of meat. In this case, for one pound, they recommend two tablespoons and two teaspoons. I'm using two and a half pounds, so I did a little bit of math, and six tablespoons and two teaspoons is the right amount. I prefer to do things by weight, so I weighed this. It comes out to, oops, comes out to 64 grams, but before I put it in the meat, I need to mix it with some water. So for the water, two and a half fluid ounces is what I need. There's two and a half fluid ounces. I'm gonna need a whisk. Put the mixture in there and then whisk that to dissolve it all in. Okay, there's my meat ready. There's my mixture ready. Yes, I'm wearing a rubber glove. I've explained that before. I don't want to get this meat mixture in under my fingernails. So there is my stuffer. Um, I'm going to raise that plunger a little bit and then put the meat down inside and then force it out through this tube after I put the casings on it. I'm wearing gloves again because I don't want to get meat under my fingernails. And you want to kind of ball this up and then push it down 
inside if you've got a tamper or something you can use to push it down there. The idea being you want to eliminate as much air as possible. Then you just slide this over and start the crank down. It has an air release valve in there somewhere. And then you just start slowly pushing it down and you'll see some coming out the end of the tube. So there it is. Some of the meat has started coming out the end of the tube and I'm going to pull my casing off and then I've got a little canister here where I keep my butcher's twine and I'm going to tie this off at the end with a piece of string okay the trick here is to try to fill this casing up full eliminating as much air as possible but not overfilling the casing because this collagen doesn't have any stretch to it it'll burst and herein is another issue I want to use these hot dog buns these hot dog rolls I know they're six inches long so what I want is these sausages to be six inches long so they'll fit inside the bun when I go to eat them okay now again starting the flow you want to just hold back a little bit so that it fills the casing don't force it too much and then check the distance I have another inch and a half two inches to go eh, maybe half an inch okay and then what I'm going to do is back off on the handle a little bit pull this out and with another piece of string check the size look at that wonderful tie this off I like using string because when I share these with friends they'll say they'll see the strings and they, they'll know it's homemade and then you can squeeze off more of this casing so that you have a little bit in between tie this off like so and then cut the string and cut halfway through the casing and there is one of my bratwurst put that on my tray and I'm ready to do some more so there they are um, this was the last one that came out this has some air pockets in it I made a sausage pricker out of a piece of dowel and an old um, sewing machine needle how I want to eat this as you can see I've got a slightly toasted roll I'm gonna put my bratwurst on there let's see if I can get this on there I have some caramelized onion stack that on top lightly caramelized put my lid on 
And that is going to be my late lunch.